Hi, I'm Kevin Israel. I'm here to talk wine and actually some very, very interesting things about wine. And joining me are our two great authors, uh, Matt Kramer and Oz Clark. So what's your opinion about Skrukav? I'm so glad to see it on. Okay. But I really think Skrukav is, is one of those things that, that we are getting used to in a rush. Um, it's, it's there because there's been a major problem with corks. Cork is a, 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 it's the bark of a tree. So basically every single cork you get in the world is going to be slightly different from the next one. And some of those trees will be infected with funguses and things and some of them will be unhealthy and some of them will have this and some of them have that. And cork, every cork you put in a bottle of wine will give some flavour to that wine. I think sometimes in red wines, that slightly woody flavour that we liked on red wines is actually from the cork. But what's, what happens if that cork's mouldy? What happens if that cork's diseased? You get the mouldy, diseased flavour. Well, at the beginning of this century, it was becoming a joke. We were getting 10% of the wines were being sent back because they were they were had rough tainted corks. Or flavors. they weren't sent back, and yeah. people or just they, said, "I don't like it." They, right. they, good point. Good point. Should have been because, sent back. because they should have been sent back. But people just sat there thinking, "I don't like wine. This is horrible." Well, um, at the beginning, 2001, it was. The New Zealanders said, we've had enough of this. They rang up the guys in Clare Valley in Australia and said, we're going to go to screw camps. Will you join us? And they said, we'll join you. And so as, as, as a group, they said, we're fed up with bad cork. We're going to screw caps. And the thing about screw cap is it's completely reliable. Every single, a million bottles of this, if he made it, they'd all taste the same. And it's a complete seal. Whereas a cork lets a little bit of oxygen in. And you may want a little bit of oxygen to come into a red wine at ages because oxygen helps the wine transform its flavors. But a Sauvignon Blanc, a young, fresh white wine, you just want it to be exactly as it was when it left the, when it left the winery. If you put the screw cap on it, that's exactly what you'll get. Well, you'll hear this term, oh, uh, in a cor oat, or corked. A bottle of wine is corked. And what does that mean? I'll tell you right now, I smell this wine, I smell fruit. And if I don't smell fruit, I got a little bit of a problem. And if I start smelling something like a wet, dank, damp cellar, I know I got a bad cork in the wine. Kevin, you were a sommelier? I was, yes. Is there a proper way to open a screw cap? Or a better way to open a screw cap? <laughs> yeah, no. There actually, I did see someone who just invented something that takes the screw cap off and is also a cork screw. Yeah. Have you seen it? <laughs> uh, I mean, come on, guys. You turn it. You turn it. I must have one. I've got to have one. Okay. When I was in Australia, <laughs> the Aussies, who have a lot of screw caps, I think the people in New Zealand have the most yeah. wines under screw it's, cap. It's 95% of all New Zealand wines are screw cap, and 75% of all Australian wines yeah. are screw cap. So they are the screw cap heroes. Right. And they instructed me to say that the way you open a screw cap wine is you don't do it from the top, where you don't have as great a grip, but you use this lower part mm. right here, and you turn it from the bottom. So there you are. <laughs> no, I'll tell you one there thing. You are. Yeah. And of course, it has to click yeah. just right. You yeah. can't. You know. Yeah, I, 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 that the click. I and think. you have so to. So how, uh, how do you open a Coca-Cola bottle? Do you have to do to look? You just that slam the neck on the corner of the table. It works every time. Uh, you guys oh. just. I don't know what they do. I have a question. So if they hand you this screw cap, are you supposed to smell it? <laughs> Good <laughs> like question. Cork? Which, make by the way, I want to make a point here. Yes. This is, and you guys can disagree with me too, because that's another little restaurant thing. And they, you know, they, they did that whole yeah. thing. Uh, they hand you the cork, and and everyone's always supposed to smell the. Uh, and what, is it, what does it smell like? It smells like a uh, wet, whiny, smelly cork. Yes. And uh, this is my opinion. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I, I say that the cork means nothing. It never did, and it never will. That's my. I'm really strong about this. And you already opened the bottle of wine anyhow, mm -hmm. so put it into a glass to see if it's good. Why do I say that? I've had thousands of bottles of wine that the cork is bad and the wine is good and vice versa. I'm throwing yeah. it out to yeah. you guys. I, uh, one, one more thing about this screw cap. Um, it's going to really catch on with red wines if people think the wine will age. Now, you know, oxygen ages wine. This doesn't let any oxygen in. A really good cork doesn't either. Not for the first few years or forever? Not, well, until the cork compresses to the point where it's no longer so creating a problem. No seal. oxygen goes through that natural cork? No. No, this has been scientifically established. Corks do not breathe. They only leak. I see. This won't leak. But I also think that actually you can age wines mm. here because there's oh, going to sure. be a little bit of oxygen in a wine because it's just there's oxygen in everything. Wines age anaerobically. Yeah. Oh.